Hey guys, what's going on? Ryan here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to create a kill counter, which I used in this edit, uh, which I scrapped. I didn't really like the style of it, but um, I thought the kill counter was kind of cool. So I'll just show you how it kind of comes on. If you look at this here, it just tree just kind of like pops on here. So it's not like just sliding on or a uh, opacity fade on. It's more kind of a C. Well, it's the CC lens. Um, I use that to make this kind of like bulge on. Um, I'll also show you how to uh, basically create the uh, rectangle with the number on and everything. So basically, I've got my clip here all synced up. Uh, Twixter and synced up with the music. Just go to the part, yeah, where he just scopes out, and I'm gonna make a new composition. Um, I call this hot counter one. Um, twelve eighty by seven twenty. Frame rate can be twenty four because it doesn't have to have a big frame rate. Uh, because it's just gonna be like a still image. Um, duration is gonna be ten. Sorry. Um, so, you're going to make a new solid. Control Y is the shortcut. And I'm going to make mine a nice light blue. About there. So, now i got to get the rectangular mask tool and make a rectangle about that size. And I'm going to duplicate this. Rename it, uh, to rename it, you just press enter while the layer is selected. I'm gonna call this, oh god, I'm gonna call this black. Um, now I'm just gonna search up a fill, turn this to black. Then you can just duplicate this, call this outline. I cannot type at all today, I don't know why. And we'll just add a glow to this one. Uh, we're going to get rid of the fill on this actually. And I'll fix the settings for glow for the glow on this outline layer in a bit. But I just want to fix these up. So uh, the black there, you're going to change the scale a bit. Actually, I think I'll just yeah, just press S on the layer to bring up the scale. And put it on about that much. Yeah, about that much. Now, um, actually, you want to have the top and the bottom kind of similar. That's about right. And then the outline, you're going to put the scale about that much. And put the outline underneath the black. Underneath the black layer. And the black layer should be underneath this layer. So that's what it looks like, so you want to sort out this outline one. It, you don't want it to be really thick. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try to get it perfect. But you kind of want to. And... Yeah, there we go. Now with the glow settings on the outline one, you want to put the glow threshold on 43, well around that, and glow radius, bring that up around 23, I think. Yeah, that looks okay. And really that's it. You can mess around with it, try to get like good glow settings that you like, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, then what you want to do is duplicate this layer um, twice. I think anyway, wait, I just need to go back to the actual comp. Um, just have to see. Yeah, you duplicate it so you have three of them then. And the reason why I do this is because if you go back to this, it's kind of hard to see that. And if I didn't duplicate them layers, it would be even harder to see because it'd just be really light. Um, if that made sense. But. That's the reason why I duplicated it. 
Then for the text, I'm just going to type in one, and I'll show you my text settings now. Just rotate this to minus 90, I believe. Yeah. And put this about here. Scale it up. Oh god. Um, yeah, that looks about right. That's all right. So my text settings. Um, well, my font is Typograph Pro. I think that's how you pronounce it. On semi bold. Uh, I just have a, a kind of a light. Well, actually, no, a dark grey. Um, my I have two pixels on. Well, my stroke is two pixels. And that's really it. You just have the size, whatever you want. And you're going to duplicate this twice, uh, just for the same reason why you duplicated the other two. And that's really it. That's how you create that. And now you're going to go back to your clip, and this should be up here. And you're going to go into your project, um, your project tab, duplicate whatever you called your counter. Uh, in this case, mine was tut counter one. Duplicate it until you have up to tut counter four or well whatever amount like that you need and go into each one of them by just double clicking on them and delete the first two text layers and then just double click on this one and backspace and press two and then you can just duplicate this twice and you do the exact same to the other one as well, you delete the first two text layers uh, go to this one, double click on it backspace, tree duplicate it and do the exact same here and there we go so I'm just going to close these my mouse is not working for me properly, I don't know why. But yeah, I can close this one actually as well. So now I'm in the comp with my clip and I'm going to put the first one where I need it, which is like right here, and scale it to I think I liked about twenty two. Yeah, twenty two is good. Um rotate it ninety degrees and just put it up around here um, I don't really like having it um, over the scope so it, I don't know if you wanna try and find a better place to put it you can um, you could also probably I don't know uh, rotate it like this uh, Hold on guys, I'll be back in a sec, I just have to go do something. So, uh, sorry about that guys, I just have to do something. Um, I think I was, okay, I was talking about this. Um, Yeah, what I was saying was, you could have it like here, and then have the one actually uh, the other way around, so that the one is standing up, instead of being on its side. And you could have them all come on here, if that makes sense. I think it kind of does, but uh, I'm not sure. So, yeah, just put it whichever way you want. I'm just going to leave it here. Just for uh, this tutorial. So, to bring it on, you want to search up CC Lens. Sorry about my loud keyboard. And you'll see it goes like this. So, you just want to put the size on zero and the convergence on minus 200 and keyframe the size go forward a few frames um, and bring the size up to 200 yeah because if you bring it up all the way to 500 it, uh, it just goes like back to its normal size and all but I don't really like that I like it on 200 because it has still got kind of a bend on the sides and I think that looks pretty cool I like it um, but yeah you can also change the blending mode to overlay 
that's what I did um, I don't know soft light all these other ones I'm just going to leave it on normal so you just can see it and then also what I did was um, when he scopes in the end I got rid of this because I didn't like having it there when he scoped in so to do that basically all you do is <coughs> split the layer when he scopes in I can't use the shortcuts because Camtasia messes up when I do that then go forward yeah to when he scopes out again split the layer and delete that part so then when he scopes in it's not there and you do the exact same um, kind of process uh, for the next part when he scopes in and then once you have that all done you don't want to have say say I was to split it here then split it here um, so you have them like that you don't want just different layers all cut up so what you want to do is select all the layers for tut counter one or whichever one you named it um, if you want to select all of them you just press control and then select the ones you want or you can press shift if they're all like uh, if there's nothing in between them so uh, press control shift c to pre-comp them and yeah you can name them whatever you want but I'm not going to bother and there you go I'd advise as well just cutting it um, yeah about here uh, instead of having it all the way to here I don't know it's up to you but yeah I'm just going to I'm not going to bother showing you how to do the next few ones because it's really kind of self explanatory it's the same process but that's really it um, hopefully you found this helpful guys uh, thanks for watching and also I'm on 95 subs so if you're not subscribed and you like my stuff please do because at 100 subs I'm going to be doing I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a CC pack and I was just thinking earlier that I might also do a glitch pack uh, with that as well so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe um, but yeah that's it thanks for watching and hopefully you found this helpful